Hey guys, this is Claudio Giuliano, and today I'm coming at you with a review of the Vio Z Canvas. Very exciting um, machine. As usual, I'm going to be coming at this from the perspective of a graphic artist and illustrator. I'm also going to be coming at this from the perspective of a business owner and print shop owner. There's a lot of cool things going on with this machine. A lot to talk about. And um, I think it's a machine that you guys should know about. I think um, it's just starting to emerge. And um, I've been watching its progress since it was in a prototype phase. So I'm glad to see Vio making a comeback. Now, I have been a Vio user for a long time. Years ago, um, they were my go-to machines. And um, that's all I really used were Vio laptops and desktops. And that's what I would design on and, and work on. Um, now, it should be noted that Vio is a separate corporation today. They have nothing to do with Sony, which is a good thing. Um, because all the Vio engineers are together and innovating. And that innovation brought such a great machine uh, together. And it, it's really nice to see. It's refreshing to see. And um, they're doing some fantastic work here. All right, guys. So let's start with the hardware. Now, very cool. We'll start with the hardware and then we'll move on to kind of who this machine is for and what it's all about and what it can do in its internals. Um, let me start by saying this is a quad core machine. Okay, an Intel Core i7 quad core machine with Iris Pro graphics. I'm saying that now because that kind of has a little bit to do with the hardware design and, and the innovation that was brought forth with what they did design-wise and build-wise. So one of the first things you're going to notice is Vio is definitely um, a high-end PC maker now and they have a strong focus on design and quality and their quality is living up to what they're saying um, right down to the boxing very simplistic boxing you'll be presented with but very nice um, from the cloth that they give you to wipe your screen off to the soft um, casing that the actual machine is in kind of reminded me of a an instrument so when you unbox it you're greeted with this card here and it says thank you for purchasing our buy our our new Vio PC, we will make every endeavor to live up to your expectations. I like seeing little cool dorky things like that, right? But on the back, that's where it's for the OCD nuts like me. And basically what this paragraph says is each canvas goes through a really crazy and intense quality control check and each one has to get uh, a finish stamp in order to go out. In other words, if it has a ding, if it has dents or scratches anywhere, it won't get the Vio finish. Now this is great, especially for someone like me, because I tend to have bad luck. So I drop two grand on a machine and I unbox it and it looks like it came from eBay. It's got dents, it's got dings, and it makes my heart drop and I hate it. And that's, a, that's OCD. Some people, stuff like that doesn't bother them, which is great. Um, but I know a lot of you also have OCD just like me and when you unbox your machine and you see it dented and dinged You know, it's gonna affect you in some way if you have OCD like me so Seeing this card makes me just love them a little bit more and it was nice. It was nice to see that All right guys, so I kind of want to take you around the hardware and show you what we got going on here so I want to start with kind of one of the standout features of the canvas, which is the full line of I.O. And what we have here is we have two USB 3 ports, one with quick charge abilities. We have a full SD card slot, which is fully loaded and it doesn't stick out like the Surface Book. 
we have a mini display port and HDMI, which both support 4K. So you can have two 4K displays going at one time. And last but not least, we have Ethernet. So you might say, well, why the heck do I need Ethernet in 2016? Everything's connected wirelessly. And that's true, and you probably won't use it um, for internet connection that much, but there are instances where it will come in handy when you're traveling, if you're in a hotel that has spotty Wi-Fi. Um, just pop in the Ethernet port and you'll be connected, and it'll be a very fast connection. But that's not what excites me about it. What excites me about the Ethernet port is, for me as a business owner and shop owner, when I am printing and, and, and doing print operations, um, the shop and printer is all connected through networking, and it's all connected through Ethernet. So the network talks to the printer, and, and that's basically how the printer uh, works. So I can basically take the canvas right into my shop and office and pop the Ethernet port in and just start directly printing from the canvas. And that's a really cool feature for me. Um, that's what kind of makes it a cool a cool feature um, combined with its other specs, which are the internals. And that's what we're going to talk about in a little bit. Now, of course, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right here. And you have your VIO charging port. 19.5 volt coming over to the top of the machine what you'll see is your main ventilation ports and on each side you'll have two buttons and they are programmable buttons so one button can turn the touch panel off and the other button can summon hotkeys on screen hotkeys and they work really well we'll talk about those hotkeys later and we'll talk about turning the touch panel off now, coming to this side of the machine, this is where you have your power. You have your volume rocker, which has a very tactile feel, and it uh, just feels really nice. Now, right here is this plastic connector that come, that VIO ships, and it's basically a pen holder. So you can magnetically attach your pen um, without this plastic holder in there. But it's not the strongest connection, so Vio includes this clip, and it gives you a much more solid um, pen storage solution. And um, I would say it, it's a better solution than um, the magnetic strip on Surface, on Surface Pro 4. Um, when you put this in a bag, it doesn't feel like your pen's going to go flying out of it. Um, it's, it's a sturdy solution, and I think it's a great, uh, great touch. And I'll just give you a little sample of how that works. Okay, so your pen goes in. And you have your solution there. Okay, so now coming down to the bottom of the machine, you have some more ventilation ports, and, and that's really it. talk about the keyboard and the pen and we'll start with the keyboard so you have an all aluminum design um, it's very thin on its own and it's very lightweight I, it feels well built doesn't feel flimsy it attaches magnetically to the canvas and it is wireless and it's not connected via Bluetooth it's connected through radios so you don't have to pair the keyboard with the with the canvas it's just gonna work when you turn it on um, I'll give you a demo of its magnetic attachment you will hear the magnets catch and it will begin charging when you connect it and I in my tests I have found that that charging um, does not tr do any major drainage to your machine's battery life and the keyboard lasts a long time I have not been able to make it die um, it hasn't gone dead on me and usually when you charge overnight it, it, it sustains a good charge so it's not going to be draining your battery life a lot 
Now, as far as the layout goes, we have a really nice keyboard here. We have soft touch material here. It gets a little bit greasy, but wipes off pretty easy. Got a full trackpad and one of the better trackpads. Really nice, um, really nice feel, very responsive. It doesn't support um, the five points of touch like the Surface Book and the Pro 4 type cover, but but it does support gestures, so you will have your pinch to zoom and your two-finger scrolling. Um, it's more simplified, but it's a very solid um, experience, and it works really well. Now, you have a nice key spacing here, and you have really nice key travel. And it's, it's, I think it might be one of the best um, keyboards I felt. And I would actually say, I think it might be a little bit better than the Surface Book's keyboard. Now the Surface Book's keyboard I hold in high regard. I think it that was also one of the best keyboards I've tried. I think this might go a little bit further. It might be just, you know, might come down to just preference, but um, I really love typing on this. Really great. Really great full keyboard and full typing experience here. So you, it, it doesn't feel like you have minimal travel. It feels like a full keyboard. Now, one of the other cool features here is you can turn the um, trackpad off. So you just switch it over to here, and your trackpad will turn off. And that's a great thing to have when you're using the keyboard for hotkeys. So you won't accidentally, you know, hit the trackpad. So very nice keyboard solution. Um, I'm really glad that it's wireless. It, it caters to the artist again and um, made for ergonomics and now that I've had this wireless keyboard solution I really don't think I could go back I, I like to set the canvas up in, in its area and have the keyboard on my lap or sometimes you know more like a laptop but a lot of the time I have the keyboard on my lap when I'm typing and that wireless separation um, it's just a really comfortable typing experience it's kinda like having a mini desktop basically um, and I like that. I prefer it over the um, always connected magnetic type cover of the Pro 4. So really great job on the keyboard. So let's talk about the pen. And right now we're just going to cover design and build and how it feels. And then we'll talk about how it functions later. So as far as the build goes, um, you have an aluminum design, it's metal, it feels really premium in the hand, and it's very comfortable. This is an active pen based on Entrig technology, but, um, but Vio has its own patents. We'll get into that later. Um, your batteries go in, you um, unscrew your top here. Um, Vio includes this really nice grip. And f for me, you know, coming again, coming at this from the artist's point of view, um, this grip really makes the pen for me and I love how it feels when you in hand with this grip on um, uh, as far as your tip goes your stock tip is um, on the harder plastic side but it's not like um, a full slipping tip I don't know if you've ever tried the tips in the surface pen tip kit the harder ones which to me are like pretty much pointless because they slip so much you can't do anything with them. This is not like that. This is kind of more on the, this is more like an, maybe an older S pen tip. It, it has a certain type of drag and you're not just slipping off your screen when you use this. It, it has a certain type of tooth. So this is one of the type, types of tips I prefer, to, I prefer when I'm working on glass. So I'm really happy that that's what's loaded in their stock. You have a clip here, and that goes back to that um, area where the uh, the plastic clip on the actual machine is. When you pull that plastic clip off, this clip will actually activate the magnetics. Um, and you know, you could clip it to something. You know, it's nice to have a little clip on there. Um, and all around, it's just a really nice design. I really love the design of this pen. I love the feel of it. Um, it's cool looking, but it also has its 
ergonomics for the artist. And I think it's one of my favorite pens as far as design and build goes. Let's talk about this kickstand. We'll talk about its design and function. Um, I, I definitely think this is my favorite kickstand design. It's not like I've used a whole lot, but um, out of the things that I've had, I have used Surface Pro 4, or we could go way, way back to the 12WX. Um, I definitely uh, prefer this kickstand, and it's one of my favorite parts about the Vio Z Canvas. Again, I keep going back to this, but it, it goes back to artist ergonomics. Um, this is a weight-based kickstand, and it has a this easel-like projection, so you're able to catch greater angles than the Surface Pro 4 kickstand. Um, the way that this kickstand allows the whole display to project just makes for a really comfortable experience, and, and in my time testing it and working on it, it's just what I've come to prefer. Now, it's not directly designed to work on your lap, whereas the Pro 4 is a, is a more universal design. You know, this is really more to make the canvas your easel. So, but that doesn't mean you can't use it on your lap because you can. Um, you just have to position yourself in a, in a specific way to use it on your lap. But I've had no problem using it on my lap. And especially if you're in like a reclining chair or something like that, just sitting back working, you can easily use it in your lap. But most times you're going to be using this on a flat surface. So let's talk about kind of how it works. Now it's weight based. What you what you do is you're going to pull it out, okay? And it has that it has this um kind of automatic pull out there. And what you'll notice is You'll notice this projection. So we have this really solid projection here at, at your first angle. So th this really straight up angle. So if you wanted to place this uh, on, on something a little bit more higher up, um, a cool straight up working angle to, to just start working. Um, now, to adjust the position on this, it's weight based. And what you're going to do is you're going to come up top here and you're just going to put a little bit pressure on and that pressure is going to make the kickstand go to a different angle. Now this can catch any angle you want until it fully closes. Um, and, and that's really nice. And when, when you're catching these angles here, as you're, as you're working, you're going to notice that this is super solid and it's definitely not going to go anywhere as you lean on it. it, it it's a very solid working experience. So. You know, you can be working on it and leaning on it, and it's definitely not going to move. And what I found is, with this, with this projection, you can catch a, a few more angles um, with it than, than the surface kicks in. Now, to close it, you see what I just did there? To close it, all you're going to do, the best way to close it is put the pressure down on it, and it's going to close right up. You can still close it with your hand, but it's a little bit harder to close that way. Um, I think it's designed to be closed um, with, with the weight. That's how it's supposed to be closed. So this is an awesome kickstand. It, it works great. Again, I'm... I'm talking about this machine from the artist's perspective and, and when it comes to art making and illustrating, you're going to love this kickstand. There's no way you're going to not like it. Um, great work by Vio on, the, on this. Now also on the back, you're going to find some more ventilation. You're also going to get ventilation back here. Um, you have your, your camera. Back here, I don't know the specs. I, I, I don't use cameras on tablets. Um, and I, I don't even use the front-facing cameras. But you have your front... You do have a front-facing camera here, too. Um, just thought it would be worth mentioning that you do have two cameras. You can video conference if you need. Um, but, you know, the cameras on, on these type of machines are not really something I paid attention to. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. But 
really nice looking design overall and um and that's gonna wrap it up for the hardware so before we go into live demos uh, of um, performance and we'll also talk about display um, I just wanted to point out a few things that I think are important now I do these reviews for you guys um, because I like to do them but mostly because I want to lead you in the right direction now you know every day I'm asked about devices and I'm asked you know, what What device should I get for this? You know, what device should I get for that? And I'm happy to answer those questions, but, you know, that's not really why I do the reviews. I do the reviews just to lead you in the right direction so you don't waste money. That's really it. And just to kind of show you what I'm using. So I wanted to point this out because I feel it's important and I kind of feel it's not really being talked about right now and um i kind of want to spark the the conversation here with this so back in october i the, you know this is all going to be based on what i had previously before the canvas back in october i bought the pro 4 upgrading from pro 3 and i've been a surface user since the first generation so um I use everything as well, and um, you know, from from the Mac to the iPad to Windows for twenty years, I use everything. To me, it's all about the tool. Uh, it's all about the job getting done, and whatever tool is going to do that best for me, that's all I care about. Nothing more. So, got the Pro Four in October, and basically, from from unboxing, it was an unusable experience. Four shutdowns every day. Pen crazy lag, um, pressure going in and out. Um, I, it had um, a, a really weird uh, low end. So in, in other words, it would blow out pressure easily and, and then it would switch up to your lightest touch. Wouldn't get any, any ink out of the pen. So sometimes the pen would completely disappear from windows altogether. Um, and it was an unusable experience. So I chalked it up to, okay, this, this has got to be a fluke. So I had them send me a replacement, which was a nightmare because trying to get a replacement from Microsoft without a store around you, which there is no store around me is a nightmare. Um, it's a long dragged out process. And basically what it comes down to is they're going to make you pay for the device all over again. Um, and they don't give you overnight shipping, so it's, to me, it's a nightmare. So, but I still did it. And I got the replacement, and the, rep the replacement came worse. And then eventually the replacement wouldn't turn on at all. So I said, you know what, I have too much work to get done. I can't do this. I had to return it. So I did. Returned it, had a small period of time where I was thinking about what to get decided to try the surface book got the surface book um and the surface book didn't have the intense amount of bugs that the pro 4 had i got the um the the unit without the discrete graphics purposely because i heard so many nightmare stories of uh from people so i i didn't want the discrete graphics and um it basically had the same specs as the pro 4 um, but unfortunately, it it didn't perform so well for me when it came to, to my work. But also, it didn't really have the ergonomics um, that I wanted. And uh, I just kind of found, you know, the screen to be a little bit too wobbly. And it just wasn't for me. So I returned it. And I got Pro 4 again. I decided to just try Pro 4 again. I was hoping that maybe updates cleared all the all the weird stuff I was seeing out. So I got it again, and all the same bugs were there. It was just as bad as the first time in October. And then a few weeks in, the display totally went, and it was shot, and a, a big line you know, went through the display. And once again, I had to return the Pro 4. And... Um, I just wanted to kind of point this experience out to you because we're going to talk about kind of why 
I think you might want to stay away from Pro 4 and Surface Book. So I'm of the opinion that if you're spending in the upper thousands to multiple thousands of dollars on your machine, which is which is a big investment and it's not an easy investment, and that's kind of why I think this is important to bring up and um, why I just want to lead you guys in the right direction. Um, you need... It's not only do you do you want the machine to perform good, paying that much money, but you need the the machine to perform good. If you're a creative professional who pays um, their bills and their sole means of income is through creating, you have to ha your machine has to perform well. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter how heavy it is. If you actually do this professionally and you um, this is your full-time job. Um, the tool has to get the job done. And that is where Surface Pro 4 and Surface Book fall way short. Um, and that's apparent just when you break it down logically, when you talk about the internals of the Pro 4 and the book. And I don't want it to sound like um, like a complete rag on Surface Book or Surface Pro 4. I think Surface Book is one of the raddest designed laptops out there. Um, I think it's got an amazing keyboard. It has a great trackpad. There's a lot. Of, it has amazing display, um, and 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 the pen on the Surface Book didn't feel too bad. These aren't bad machines at all. Um, I just think they're for someone else. I, I I really don't know who they're for. That's the thing, um, because. You know, everything that I'm reviewing is for the creative professional. That's really the problem. I don't know who the Surface Pro 4 or, or Surface Book are for because I found such major underperformance that I couldn't get my work done on either of them. Um, I, and even when I was going for light work, I was having a hard time. So that's why I really don't know who those machines are for. And when you do the math and you do the numbers, when you add everything in, you're just a couple hundred away from what the Vio Z canvas costs. So to me, it makes no sense to why you would spend $3,000 on an underpowered surfer, Surface Book when you can get this powerhouse. Um, and when I say powerhouse, this is a real powerhouse because chips are not equal, man. Um, and that shows up big time here um we can't compare a dual core 15 watt chip to a 47 watt quad core chip you know and and the iris pro graphics are like having a dedicated gpu they're they're really good um so there's no comparison at all there's just no comparison this is not in the same class this is a full-on desktop replacement okay the surface pro 4 and surface book are not even close to that um they're comparing those two to this that's that that would be the equivalent to um comparing them to an ipad so it, to be honest with you I, I know this might piss some people off but the ipad pro was actually can outperform surface book and pro 4 and in a number of ways, including 4K video editing. Um, so there's that, too. So all I'm saying is I don't want to see you guys waste your money. Um, in my opinion, stay away from Pro 4 and uh, Surface Book. Pro 4, I would say, sure, consider it at the low end, at the Core M end, with, with the fanless one. Um, other than that, I think... If you buy them, you'll wind up having a lot of buyer's remorse because uh, they're not going to be able to do a lot for you if you do similar work to me. Now, it, I would say, sure, if you work on the small end, you might be able to get some things done. But the thing is, I was testing it on the small end and it it still wasn't working. It, you know, it wasn't working out for me. So just keep that in mind when you go out to buy it your next device. So now that we have talked about the design and hardware of the machine, let's talk about 
what's inside of this machine because that's really kind of what's so exciting about it. Now there's a lot of unique things externally that make this a really unique device, but the same can be said for what's going on inside. So let's talk about it. Inside we have a 47 watt quad core Intel Core i7 processor coupled with the Iris Pro graphics. Now, this is a spectacular combo, and super impressive that Vaya was able to fit that combo in such a sleek form factor, um, and, and that's where the separation of class comes in when, when, when we're talking about the Vaya Z canvas. Um, it's an excellent combo, and that combo really caters to the artist again and to the creative because... A lot of the softwares we use are designed to take advantage of these higher end specs. So it's a really uh, a real engineering marvel that that Vio was able to fit this in this this sleek form factor, and its closest kin would be a 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro, which of course is thicker and heavier. Naturally, it's going to be heavier because it's a bigger machine, but as far as specs go, really, it, that's that's one of its closest kins. Now, it doesn't stop there when it comes to inter internals, because of what Vio did was they did this three fan design. So inside of this machine, it has three fans, and that's what's cooling the system off. And it does a fantastic job. It's a really innovative um, design, and the machine doesn't get hot. It doesn't. It rarely gets warm. And regardless of what you're doing on it, um, from 3D work to, to heavy Photoshop work um, to clip paint, it doesn't matter what you're doing, the machine doesn't get hot as far as working on it. And again, that's another engineering marvel that they pulled off here. Um, so I got to say bravo to Vio. All right, so let's get into some performance demos and... I'll kind of show you just how incredible the performance is on, on this machine. Um, we'll talk about the pen and its specs and its performance. Um, but first, I want to talk about the display. And I have to tip my hat to Vio here um, because they delivered an incredible display here. Definitely um, one of the best I've seen. Um, it possibly the best I've seen and um, again it's 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 all going back to something created for the artist and, um, and and that's what this machine is all about that's what this this machine uh, embodies and that's kind of really what defines this machine you know every part of it leads back to we did this for a reason, and that reason being to make this a better machine for true creative professionals. Now, what makes this display so great? Well, of course, it, it, it's extremely pixel dense, like most modern displays are, um, so it, it's no slouch there. Um, but what takes it to the next level is this display is covering 95% of the Adobe RGB spectrum. Um, and when you see that, in, when you see this display in person, you'll notice that right away. Um, you'll notice it in the wide gamut that it can catch. You'll notice it in the accuracy. Um, you'll see it in color representation and... Um, it's just fantastic and extremely accurate and and this is important uh, for me because not only in terms of of, of directly working on it and, and designing and, and illustrating on it but as a graphic and print shop owner when when I uh, when I'm, uh, I'm printing a client's files um, and, and, and creations or, or, or if I'm printing my personal work for for art prints um, you know, everything that I do leads back to print for me. 
and having a display that covers uh, this gamut and, and has that accuracy um, is really important. And for me, display um, displays and color calibration is, is one of my areas of expertise for, you know, you, you have to have that expertise being a print shop owner. And, um, I can tell you that this is definitely, this is, this is the best display I've seen in this form factor. This is a 12.3 inch display and I have yet to see anything, um, this good. There's a lot of great displays out there, but this is a display for the creator, for the artist, and it's beautiful to look at. All right, so let's get into some um, performance demos, and I just kind of want to show you just how incredible this quad-core chip and, and, and the Irish Pro graphics are, and I want to go into the pen, of course, and we'll talk about it in more detail uh, and we'll see how it performs and we're going to compare some of this stuff to, to previous experiences so the first thing I noticed and and this is Clip Studio Paint also known as Manga Studio and this is one of the main softwares I work in um, and um, like like other softwares it's 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 uh, it, it can be kind of taxing on the system but not it not as much as say photoshop but this is still a hefty software and um and and a software like this is made to take advantage of higher end specs and 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 higher end graphics now the first thing i noticed was just in simple stuff like like um you know navigating the ui or Simple things like uh, pinch to zoom and, and, and you know, zooming and rotating and, and, and all that. You just get a super fluid, instant, responsive um, experience. And um, when comparing that to Surface Pro 4 or Surface Book, that experience was really, um, really chugging and, and, and really laggy. Um, so, for example, and... and uh, and on the Surface Pro 4 and Surface Book, it didn't matter what size I worked. It, it you know, things like pinch to zoom and, and two finger rotate were just um, super laggy, regardless of size. And and um, if you got into even larger sizes and, and higher resolutions, then it's like almost unusable. So what I wanted to show you guys here is just some of that performance so you know when you pinch to zoom you have a, a, a very fluid and instant um, response and again this is um, I, don't, I don't even remember if I mentioned this but um, the machine is in low power mode right now it's not even in high performance or standard performance so um, and I find that even in low power mode, you, you still get really great performance out of this machine. So, um, you know, you, you can see it here. You just get much more of an instantaneous uh, response. So this makes sketching much more enjoyable and, and much more fluid. Um, it makes, you know, doing everything, painting, inking, um, when you can navigate through your UI like this, um, w with touch intact, like in this, in this way and, and having it this fluid, you know, it, it, it it's just w what more could you ask for when, when you're working? It, it's something that definitely I look for. And that's something that, um, that's one of the, one of the areas the quad core chip um, really really performs um, so fantastic there so what we have going on with the pen is Vio's custom take on Entrig and they have retained patents from past devices and kind of brought them over to here and 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 you know this isn't the same type of Entrig um, experience you're gonna get with the Pro 4 or Surface Book 
this is a customized experience and um i was really happy to discover that and um you know it's 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 more so molded for the artist in that the pen the pen acts and feels like you want it to um so one of the first things i noticed was how it properly acted when it came to the low end of the pressure so in other words on the pro 4 when when you start drawing um or sketching it it still felt like you had to press down a little bit harder to get the pen to activate here the lightest the lightest spectrum of pressure is going to activate still and this this is how you want it to feel um especially when you know when you're sketching when you're rendering um you want to have that natural feel and, and and having to push down um to to get the pen to start to activate it, it leads to an unnatural um experience and and what bio did here was they just got it right and 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 it and it feels how it should um this is definitely the best implementation of Entrig I have felt. Um, and to be honest, it's th th this is on par with, with Wacom technology. This is definitely, I could pretty much say it's, it's just about there. Um, so I was happy because I, I wasn't really sure what to expect. And I was glad to see that, that Vio has customize this experience to make it tailored for the artist um, so you're going to enjoy the pen experience and you're going to and, and you're going to get a really natural feel out of the pen now the other thing i wanted to note is you do have a curve controller and this is not the same type of controller that you get with pro 4 in that you only have you know two directions to go with, with with the curve here you have extra points so you have four points all together so you you have a, a a wider range that you can hit with the curve here and 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 that helps and um and i and i definitely can feel this um these extra points making a difference here so I think it was, uh, when I saw that, I thought it was great, and, and I was happy to see that. And I was happy that just choosing the hard setting without having to go into, like, deep tweaking of this curve, um, I just got a normal experience out of this pre-made this pre setting that they have in here. So I was excited. Um, definitely the best version of Entrig I felt and the best Entrig pen. Now the other thing I want to point out is the tip, which I feel is important because um, when you're working on glass things can get kind of funky depending on what kind of tip you have. The stock tip is is a tip that I prefer. It's not slipping on the glass. You can feel a uh, attraction here that um, that the plastic tips in the Pro 4 pen kit don't have, um, where they just straight up slip right off the glass and you have no control. This just feels great. Um, you know, I think all pens can have more tooth, but uh, if I had to choose, I would definitely be choosing this pen over any of those tips in the Pro 4, and I definitely would choose it over the rubber tips. Um, because here you can you can just sketch naturally, um, especially if you work um, more on the fast side. So they knocked it out of the park with the pen, and you're gonna love it. I want to show you guys the the how the two dedicated buttons on the canvas work that I talked about earlier. Now I'm a lefty, so I have this button here set to summon the hotkey controller which i'm going to show you and i have this one set to turn touch off now these two buttons are awesome and another great touch and and, and it's another thing that that um kind of defines the canvas as a creative professional's device 
because if you're familiar or even if, if you're familiar with with uh, like a Cintiq um, or or if you're not familiar with a Wacom Cintiq basically you know Wacom devices like Cintiqs have these dedicated buttons on them and, and those buttons are cons are called hotkeys and you can set those keys to um, to your keyboard shortcuts for your software now the Surface Pro 4 and the Surface Book don't have any physical buttons and and there's nothing in, in in the software that that give you access to hotkeys so you'll have to find something from a third party like an art doc and I've tried a lot of them and um, I didn't have a good experience with them and I found them to be kind of wonky and you know a lot of them didn't work right so the fact that Vio has two buttons here and um, the one button being able to have the ability to pull a, a, a hotkey panel up is awesome and, and, it, and, and it makes your workflow streamlined now and this is great when you don't want to use your physical keyboard um, and the cool thing about it is the keys still work when the touch panel is off now I'm going to demo this for you so you just hit your button and it's going to pop your key set up okay and here you can go into your settings here and you'll have a settings area where you can customize um, this whole this whole area and you can customize which you know which button you want to be um, the hotkey controller and which one you want to touch to turn the touch panel off and then in here you'll see your your popular creative softwares here like Photoshop Illustrator Lightroom painter clip studio paint sketchbook things like that and you'll you can add more sets to um, to the touch panel so great there now not only can you um, have your hotkeys here but when you go to tools you'll be able to change your power mode here and and you'll be able to change your pen mode there so you have settings also built in this hotkey area um, and they work great so this is awesome and I, and I love this feature so I just wanted to demo it for you really quick. All right, you know, boom, undo. Now, this one is going to turn the touch panel off, okay? Now, even with the touch panel off, your hotkeys still work. Again, awesome, makes your workflow streamlined, and you don't have to worry about anything. Now, and, and, and the great thing about that is, you can be working, you know, of course, lean your hand on the display and the touch panel is totally off and your hotkeys are still going to work. And what you can do is you either in your first set or your, your other set here, you can have a tool that, you know, say the hand tool that's going to, you know, grab the canvas so you can grab the canvas and, and move the canvas with the pen. So you'll still be able to navigate. Uh, with, with the touch panel off while you have your pen in hand. So, great feature. I think a lot of artists are going to really love that, that, that you have this ability and function here. So, another great thing that Vio did. Let's talk about some of the customizations of this machine. Um, what we have here is we're running Windows 10 Pro, and this is the signature edition of Windows. So it's free of bloat, wear, and um, it's tuned for speed. And I got to tell you, and, and this is minus the, the specs and the fact that the machine's a powerhouse, um, that, I, that has nothing to do with it here. This is how Windows should feel, and this is how Windows should run on every machine. Um, and you, you'll notice it right away. So when, when you start this machine up, you're not going to run into any weird issues. You're not going to have um, drivers failing. You're not going to have blue screens of death. And you're not going to have to restart the machine throughout the day. Um, you turn it on and it just works. Um, you're not going to get any force shutdowns. All the things that, that I was seeing on Pro 4 and have, have always seen, you know, since 
using the surface since first generation you don't see those things here and and i wanted to point that out because i think that's important to bring up and i don't think enough people are bringing that up and and that's that this third party oem um on their comeback device first generation has windows running 10 times better than microsoft's own hardware um and I'm not exaggerating there. And, and, and these are things I want to point out to you guys. So when you do make that buy for, for, your, for your machine, um, you make the right decision. Because I ha if I had a Pro 4 in front of me right now, and I was able to, to show you the performance differences just in Windows alone, um, you'd see it right away. So... I think that is definitely something Microsoft has to, um, you know, address. You know, when it came to Surface, I was I was always under under the impression and thinking, all right, well, since Microsoft is making the hardware and the software, it should be the most optimized machine out of any Windows machine. Well, I have to tell you, um, Vio definitely outclassed them here because um, it feels like Windows was really made to run on this machine. Um, and it's just instantly apparent, just, just how smooth it is. It, it feels like it has space. It doesn't feel like it's bogged down. Um, and, and, and it doesn't have daily issues, which the Surface does have. The Pro 4 has daily issues, where you'll definitely have to restart the machine more than once throughout the day you'll definitely run into driver failures and you'll run into four shutdowns and blue screens of death things that make surface not feel optimized for windows so that's something i just wanted to point out to you guys and another thing that i really noticed quickly w with the via z canvas just how incredible windows <laughs> runs on this machine I just wanted to quickly take you through the VIO control center. The, the main area here, um, what, what you have is you have three modes to work in. Performance, standard, and silence. And silence is the lower power mode that I was talking about earlier. Now, um, pretty much I basically work in standard and silence mode. And um, lately I've been working in silence mode. Um, and there's really not much of a hit in performance as far as working in Photoshop on large files and, and, and with, with big brushes um, at high resolution in, in Clip Paint, in Illustrator, um, even in Adobe Premiere, um, able to, to work in, in, in this silence mode. So basically, you'll learn what, what mode you want to toggle through. You'll toggle through all three of them. And, um, you know, you'll, you'll use each one and, and you'll find which, which, um, which mode you want to want to use for specific tasks. Um, so I, I love that it has these three modes here to work in and it's a fantastic thing. Um, you have some other settings here. Um, um, this is where you would access your input device and that's how you get to, um, your pressure curve controller. Um, and you can also program the buttons on the pen, you know, the top button being the eraser and the bottom button being the right click and you can program those. Um, and that's pretty much it in here. Um, now you also have your graphics properties area where you can customize your settings in here from um, color profiles to display to 3D and to power. So also really nice to have that area there. Um, of course, um, 10 points of multi-touch here with Windows. Um, touch is intact, touch works great, um, of course. And um, I found no issues with the touch screen. And the other thing I wanted to talk about was the, um, the, the wireless connection, really fast. Um, and efficient um, 802.11 and um, I'm not sure if it goes a bit beyond what what's in um, 
you know some of the more modern machines but i just have noticed that it's a really fast um really fast and speedy uh wireless um wireless network here um i i i found it to connect quickly um render sites really fast and it's it's definitely something i i've noticed and um rarely lose a connection with this uh with their wireless imp implementation here okay all right we got some inception going on here so right now i have adobe premiere cc pulled up the latest version and if you're familiar with adobe premiere or video editing in general you know that's kind of taxing on the cpu um, especially when we're talking about adobe premiere it's kind of a heavy hefty software and um, it can be taxing on the system now when i tried to edit on the pro 4 and the surface book it wasn't a good experience i, I wasn't able to get much done um, basically on the pro 4 it was when i tried to edit a two minute clip um, 4k or um, uhd um, or qhd rather um, it just wasn't able to do it it would shut the system totally down um, it, and um, it it would get really choppy and really laggy so um, if you are a video editor if you um, edit video daily and you're on the go um, you're definitely gonna love the Vio Z canvas because um, editing um, QHD or UHD, you're you're gonna have um, no problem here in Adobe Premiere. Um, not gonna lag on you, and you'll be able to get get your work done when it, when it comes to editing. Now, what we have right here is some Inception. This is actually the review you are watching right now here in Adobe Premiere. Oh, I have the touch panel off, duh. Okay, so this is uh, Adobe Premiere. And this is this is the review. And I just kind of want to scrub through some things and, and show you what we have going on here and how it works. So I'm glad to see Vio making a comeback. Now, I have been a Vio user for a long time, years ago. Um, they were my go-to machine. Now, you you notice how scrubbing through things, we're not we're not seeing lag, and 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 we're not entering we're get ventilation back here. into any problems. Um, you have your your camera back here. I don't know the specs. I I, I don't use cameras on tablets, um, and I I don't even use the front-facing cameras. But you have your front you do have a front-facing camera here too. Um, so, and, and right now I am in um, standard mode. So we're not running in performance mode here, and 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 still we have a a very usable um, experience. More than usable, it's um, it, it it it's an experience. You know, this is how you want Adobe Premiere to run. Um, so you're not going to have any problems in terms of running Adobe Premiere or editing video. You're going to have a smooth experience. So I just want to kind of demo uh, Photoshop performance. I know a lot of you guys use Photoshop. I use Photoshop every day for work. Um, once upon a time I used to do all of my illustration work in it, inking, painting. Um, of course I do that all in clip paint today, but I know a lot of you guys still use Photoshop um, to paint and to draw in. And plus, I know a lot of you guys use Photoshop in the way I do, where, um, you know, for work and for print, um, I'm often in Photoshop to make templates. I'm often in Photoshop uh, to, em to edit images and for image correction and, and, and things of that nature. So I'm in Photoshop daily for work and um, it's definitely something I use every day and 
right now what I want to do is I want to show you its performance on the canvas but I also want to show you the true power of this quad core chip and kinda show you why I'm why I'm talking about um, chips not being made equal because what I'm about to show you is not possible on a Surface Pro 4 or a Surface Book even with this dedicated GPU um, this what we have here is a true desktop replacement so you're gonna get ultimate power here and um, and, and and that's the key and that's the thing about it and and it, and it really makes a huge difference it, it's 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 not a little it's not a little performance difference it's a major performance difference um, it, and and it's just important f for you to know you know especially when you look at what the price is and and, and how good the Vio Z canvas is priced now keep in mind here what I have open is I have Adobe Premiere open which is what I'm using to edit this video that you're watching right now this review um, that's open and being worked on okay we have clip paint open as well and we have Photoshop open now check this out I'm just gonna start this document over I just want to show you the size okay now we have a full scale image 35 by 23 at 600 dpi now I would never work this um, at, at this resolution at this size because it doesn't make sense to you don't have to there's no need to it's pointless because you're already at full scale so you'd never want to work on an image of this size at 600 dpi because there's no point it's not gonna um, it's not gonna make your print look any better um, it's basically gonna do nothing for you the same goes for working on uh, um, at, at this size at 300 dpi so um, it, it you're at full scale so you just have to know the mathematics and and it, if you if I were to go in my shop right now and print um, this image at 600 dpi and then print it at 300 dpi or down um, you wouldn't see a difference in the print quality so but this is great to demo and if you want to do it you can do it okay 600 dpi full scale image here and I want to show you its performance now check this out now keep in mind small images on Surface Pro 4 and Surface Book barely um, could um, sustain performance in, in in Photoshop and you know navigating through the UI was a nightmare and almost unusable unusable so check this out keep in mind we have Adobe Premiere open we have clip paint open you see this fluid experience we get here in Photoshop okay Surface Book with its dedicated GPU um, is unable to sustain this Photoshop performance here. Now, the other thing I want to show you is we have a brush that is 1,457 pixels. So what we have here is I've back down the resolution we're still at the same size um, and I wanted to show you how the special deep brushes perform now as I said these brushes are pretty weird on 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 on, on all systems but again I'm making direct comparisons to my previous experience with the Pro 4 and the Surface Book and um, you know I would say a lot of these brushes um, didn't work well at all or, or didn't work at all and were so laggy even at very small small sizes um, that you just wound up really not using them so if you do happen to like to paint with these um, brushes what you'll find is um, a lot of them work really well with the canvas and um, the canvas has the horsepower to 
to, to handle them. And and what I kind of want to show again is just the power of this quad core chip that we have Premiere open. Like I said, we have Premiere open and we have a, we have Clip Paint open and we have Photoshop here with this big document. And we can still use these specialty brushes which are often very taxing on the CPU. And that's a great thing. And, and, and you know, you're, you're also getting the result that you should get as far as how the brushes render. And, and, and that also is from having those Iris Pro graphics and, and the quad core chip. So a lot of power here in the canvas. And, and, and if you're a Photoshop user, especially being able to have these hotkeys here um, and, and you know you're really stuck on using Photoshop and you don't want to switch and you don't want to use anything else and this is what you love to paint in um, I would I would have to say the canvas is definitely a machine that you should look into especially if you're gonna be paying on that upper upper tier bracket of uh, uh, of cash um, you know, if you do get the canvas, you're going to get your money's worth. You're going to really enjoy this experience. So Photoshop is a check. And now we'll move into Illustrator. All right. So now we're in Adobe Illustrator CC. Now I want to point out still, we have that high resolution and high big scale document open in Photoshop. We have Clip Paint open, we have Chrome open, and we still have Adobe Premiere open with ultra high resolution video being edited. I don't know if this uh, is picking it up right now, um, but the fans are going, and they're going um, pretty much at, f I, would, I think this would be at full force. I'm not sure if they go into another step up above this. I think that they may. Um, and what, what we're in now, we are now in performance mode. And in performance mode, the fans are going to work for you. And basically, the canvas is going to deliver um, the highest performance it can. So with all this stuff still open, Illustrator, totally fluid here. Beautiful um, fluid experience, you know, fluid workflow. Um, to work in now when when the fans do go and, and and get to this to this high speed if you you know see how I'm putting my my fingers here you you can kind of you'll feel the fans um, there you you know you can kind of feel that the fans are present and and, and working but um, I wouldn't say it's something that would disturb your workflow or anything like that. Um, but you can, you can feel that, 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 you know, there's fans present, um, in this machine and, and you can kind of feel them, uh, working. Um, but nothing that would disturb your workflow if you are using touch or if you were, uh, you know using the pen and, and drawing um, I don't really think that would get in the way and also we have to keep in mind that this is an kind of an extreme scenario uh, situation and, and just an extreme example but let me just show you um, some performance here in Illustrator Okay, drawing shapes, resizing, we have, you know, fluid experience. Let's check out the pen tool. Okay, we have no lag there with our pen tool. Let's check this guy out. So as we work, if you can imagine, you know, a scenario here as you're working, you're not 
you're not going to experience any lag, you're not going to experience any slowdown, and, and this is under extreme measures, okay? Now if we wanted, we could pop into Chrome, get multiple tabs open, um, I don't know, let's go to like a heavy website like The Verge, something with a lot of content on it. Now, and, and, and as I fill the machine back here, the machine isn't, it's not even warm at all. So, it, it just super, super impressed with, with the work that Fio put in here. And this is going to really 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 cater to the creative professional so I know what you're thinking you're probably like alright it's got this great performance it's got a quad core chip it's got great specs high-end graphics when the keyboard attaches magnetically the machine actually charges the keyboard um, so you're probably thinking, well, this thing can't possibly have good battery life, right? You know, it's sleek, it's it's on the thin side, it's light, you know, it's a mobile workstation. But, you know, on most machines similar, you get really bad battery life um, on, on a lot of machines out there that, if, that have this type of power. Um, and even on, on machines with chips that are made to save power, well, they don't really get great battery life either. You know, take the Pro 4, for example. Um, you know, most times you can get about five hours on a good day, maybe six, but, you know, it changes and fluctuates so much. You know, some days you could drain that battery in no time. Um, and, and some days you can push the five hours, but, you know, that's that. Now, Surface Book is a different story because it has that battery in the base. So, you know, Surface Book does have great battery life when it is a full unit. But once you take it into tablet mode, of course, you're getting like two hours on that tablet. So, um, that's that. Now... If you're thinking that the Vio Z Canvas has bad battery life, well, I'm going to have to go ahead and tell you and be honest with you. You are wrong. The Vio Z Canvas has excellent battery life. And, you know, I really didn't know what to expect. Um, but it's just another area where I have to tip my hat to Vio and how excellent um, they've optimized this thing because with, with this type of specs, this form factor, uh, I, I didn't in a million years think that they'd pull this off. So for, for me in performance mode, um, doing my work, Photoshop, Illustrator, Clip Paint, you know, doing my thing, um, you know, that I always do, you know, just a standard work day or whatever. Um, I'm pulling about eight hours of battery life, eight solid hours, and it's consistent in that it doesn't change day to day. Um, the machine just has a solid battery, so it's like a, a full-on solid eight hours, you know? Um, it's not spotty, and it doesn't change. Um, now, now, of course, if you are going to get into some really taxing stuff, um, um, you know, if you're going to get into doing some extreme 3D work, you will probably take a hit, um, with battery life. But, um, even when I was testing my 3D stuff, like Sculptress and, and, and Daz Studio, it wasn't hitting the battery like I thought it would. It wasn't hitting the battery like on a, like, like on another machine. 
So, eight hours in performance mode. Um, I'm sorry, eight hours in um, standard mode. Now, if we switch to silence mode, which is the low power mode, which is still powerful, you can extend the battery even more. And um, I clocked that at about 10 hours for me. You know, same type of work. Um, and I was able to push 10 hours. Even with Chrome open, um, still pushing great battery life. So, very exciting thing that we can have all this power um, and, you know, no compromise in power, but also not much of a compromise in battery life. And, and that's, that's important to me. Battery life is something that's really important in a mobile workstation. So in closing, what can we kind of take out of this great machine that Vio built? And I think, I think the first thing would be taking note of just how much research Vio put into this machine specifically for the creative professional, understanding what we want and what we need. Uh, this device is laser focused um, in that it is for a specific user um, this is not something the general consumer is going to buy. This is a machine specifically made for the creative professional. No different than uh, a Cintiq. You know, a Cintiq is specifically made for the creative professional. Vio did the same thing except in their own unique way. And, and, and the only similarity between this and a Cintiq is that they both have pens. Other than that, they are such different mantras of, uh, of um, design and, 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 and engineering. Totally, totally different machines. And when you think about the form factor of this device, its size, how thin it is, its lightness, the fact that when the keyboard attaches magnetically, it it um, charges, the device charges it, and you still are getting stellar battery life. That's kind of where it, it changes the game a bit, because there is really nothing like it out there. Um, there. There is no two-in-one tablet PC of this size with a quad-core chip with Irish Pro graphics. Um, it's just that it's, it doesn't exist. Um, so Vio did a ton of innovation here. And, and, and this is one of the most impressive machines I've gotten to use in a long time. You know, from the, from the three-fan system to, to the device never getting hot, to the, to the long lasting battery life um, it, it, very rarely am I impressed by um, by a machine and, and usually um, usually a, a device of this nature gets more than one thing wrong you know usually it has a lot of compromise but what you'll find is with the Vio Z Canvas, there's very little to no compromise. They pretty much nailed it in, in every area. So for me, it would be really hard to not recommend the Vio Z Canvas to the creative professional. I think this is the dream machine. I think this is the machine that a lot of people have, have re really wanted but really didn't get get to have um, I think a lot of devices right now that the creative professional um, considers kind of don't really live up to the expectations and, and, and can't deliver in a lot of ways um, and when you look at that pipeline of products 
that's where things become interesting. And now after being exposed to this experience here, I kind of have a new view and, and a different outlook. And it kind of now becomes hard to recommend other machines to a creative professional. Um, of course, depending on what you do. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up my review of the Vio Z Canvas. Um, I think it's a great machine. I think if you're going to be spending a lot of money, you know, and, and, and you know that you're going to be spending a lot of money on a new machine, um, and you need that machine to really perform for you, I really think you guys should look into the Vio Z Canvas. It's 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 fantastic. Um, it's impressed me in every way, and I couldn't um, give this machine a higher recommendation. It, it's they did a great job. Um, as always, if you enjoyed this review, please like, comment, subscribe. Share the video with friends. And if you would like to follow me on Instagram, you can find me at Cladio. On Twitter, Cladio Giuliano. And the links will be in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it.